It's a lovely day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be, could you be, my... Ow! What the... Materials for this prop include cardboard, aluminum tape, duct tape, adhesive foam squares, brass fasteners, cardstock, flat black spray paint, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and a pinner pencil. First, draw and cut out this design. You'll need two of it. Cut out a third section 10 inches by 1 and inches. Fold one of the circle pieces at the 8 inch mark starting from the circle end. Repeat for the other piece. On another piece of cardboard, draw a 2 inch by 25 inch rectangle. Draw a line dividing the rectangle in half 1 inch on each side. At the top line, mark every 2 inches, or every odd number on your ruler. On the midline, mark all the even numbers. Mark the zigzag between the points. You should end up with this design. Cut out the downward facing triangles, leaving only the upward facing points. Use this first template to repeat for a second, third, and fourth. If you have excess at the ends, cut it off so the templates together make one single point. Tape two templates together and bend them to create a curve. Repeat for the second pair of templates. Line up your three pieces from earlier. The two circle pieces go on either end, with the folds bending inward. Duct tape the original three pieces together. Flip the trap over and cut more slats of cardboard the same size as the base of the trap. Duct tape them to the bottom of the trap for extra stability. Be sure not to tape the folded circle section to the base. Cut four 7.5 inch by 1.5 inch cardboard rectangles and bend each in half. Place two facing each other at the point on your trap where the circle falls when folded. Duct tape the base half of the main trap and repeat on the other side. Wrap the entire main trap in aluminum tape, except for the upward facing pieces you've just attached. Draw a circle a quarter inch inward on one of your circle pieces and use an X-Acto blade to cut it out. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Repeat on the other side. Wrap the two teeth pieces in aluminum tape. Rewrap the two rings in aluminum tape. Place two pieces of cardstock together, then cut strips an inch and a half thick. Place two together and tape them in the middle. Repeat for the second pair. Wrap both links in aluminum tape. Tape the two long pieces together perpendicular to each other. Now, fold the piece that is bottommost over the corner. Fold the other piece over this first fold. Fold the first piece back the way it came. If you repeat this for the length of the cardstock, you should end up with a kind of accordion. Place this piece at the fold of one of your circle pieces and use adhesive foam squares to attach it, top and bottom. Repeat this entire accordion process for the other side of the trap. Place the first teeth piece on the outer section of the upstanding pieces. It should fall one inch from the base on both sides. Cut away the tooth section that will be connected. Use an X-Acto blade to pierce the outer upright piece at the halfway point. Pierce the end of the teeth piece with the X-Acto blade about an inch inward and as centered as possible. Repeat for the other side of the teeth piece as well as the other upright piece. Wrap the outer upright pieces in aluminum tape, keeping track of where the hole is. Wrap the inside upright pieces in aluminum as well, and puncture a hole in each of them to match the position of their counterpart. Press the ring piece down, then place the teeth piece in position next to the upright piece. Insert a brass fastener through the teeth piece and the first upright piece. Unfold the fastener. Repeat on the other side. Remember, the ring piece needs to be below the teeth piece, or the trap won't close correctly. Cut another four strips of cardstock, tape them into pairs, and cover them in aluminum tape. Fold them into another accordion like earlier. Attach it to the center of the trap with adhesive foam squares. Cut a piece of cardboard four inches by nine and a half inches. Cover it in aluminum tape. Place the piece on top of the accordion with adhesive foam squares. Take the second teeth piece and place it on the innermost section of the upright piece. Do not sandwich it in between the upright pieces. The trap won't close properly if you do. Duct tape the tops of the upright pieces together and cover any remaining cardboard in aluminum tape. For the chain, 
Check out my video on how to make a length of chain in the description. Leave the last link open to fit around the base of the trap before sealing it shut with a piece of aluminum. Place more adhesive foam in the spaces in the accordion to stabilize the pressure plate. And now it's time to move outside for paint. Always be safe when handling spray paint, use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the trap flat black. And there's your finished bear trap. So this isn't a working bear trap. I did try several times, but the cardboard is just the wrong material for that. It can open and close, but only if you do it manually. See you next time.